the CIS Controls presentation on Service Provider Management from the National Cybersecurity Center. First, a little brief explainer of the controls and, and implementation groups. Each control has safeguards. This control has seven safeguards broken up into groups one, two, and three. Implementation group one is your basic cyber hygiene, so you'll want to tackle those safeguards first, then move on to two, then three. In addition, all of these safeguards are mapped to identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover the NIST CSF categories. Our little definition here, service provider management, develop a process to evaluate service providers who hold sensitive data or responsible for an enterprise's critical IT platforms uh, and make sure that these are being protected appropriately. So nowadays, it's more and more common that uh, every organization is using multiple service providers. So your risk is not just to your internal data storage, um, your internal systems, but if your service provider gets attacked or gets hacked and there's a data breach there, they're holding your data um, and they're able to, an attacker is able to, um, to leverage that uh, so your risk landscape is much wider with more service providers. Uh, why is it critical? Uh, in the last decade, third-party breaches have significantly impacted enterprises. Um, this was a, a big uh, emphasis with the SolarWinds attack. Uh, so many hundreds of organizations, if not thousands, use Solar, the SolarWinds platform. Um, their organizations themselves were not um, attacked, but SolarWinds as the service provider was attacked. Looking through the implementation groups, we have IG1 here. Uh, you want to know who you have a relationship with. Maintain an inventory of service providers, internet service providers, data storage, customer relationship management, um, different platforms that you have within your local government um, departments, accounting platforms, different things like that. Just know what you're working with. IG2, have a management policy in terms of how you're going to monitor those relationships. How are you going, when are you going to update those policies? Um, classify your service providers and then uh, negotiate those contracts to ensure uh, security requirements. Do you know how secure your service provider um, is themselves in terms of, do they encrypt all of your data? How do they handle the storage? What are their policies there? Um, look at those security requirements. And then implementation group three, actually do an assessment on them. Uh, monitor them and decommission them in the appropriate way when that time comes. Um, if you're switching or just decommissioning those service providers altogether. Key concepts here, uh, your risk landscape is much wider if your, uh, for lack of a better term, tentacles run wider and longer through multiple service providers uh, versus doing things um, in your own internal storage. So keep that in mind um, and you want to have policies and practices in place so that you can review your third party service providers, those um, services that you use for any different um, department within your organization, whether it's an accounting platform, a customer relationship platform, um, all of the above have some policies in place.